My name is Daniel Beer. I'm a senior lecturer in modern European history at the department at Royal Holloway. I teach on a wide range of undergraduate courses about the history of modern Europe from the end of the 18th century up until the present day, but my specialist subjects are on uh, modern Russia, so I'm an expert on modern Russia in the 19th and 20th centuries. Most of my research has been on uh, the, the cultural, the intellectual history of Russia from roughly the middle of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th. Um, my first book looked at uh, questions of um, the rise of mass politics in Europe uh, in a rapidly changing society, uh, how Russian elites were alarmed by and sought to control uh, the social and political forces that were unleashed by modernization. Uh, more recently, my research has looked at questions of crime and punishment uh, in Russia. So I've just finished a book on a history of exile to Siberia from the beginning of the 19th century until the revolution. So Siberia works for the Russians in much the same way that uh, the penal colonies uh, in Australia uh, work for George and England. So it's a sort of a convenient dumping ground for uh, criminals, but also seditious uh, elements. And over this period that I'm looking at, roughly the 100 years before the 1917 revolution, no fewer than one million Tsarist subjects are expelled beyond the Ural Mountains to a range of exile settlements and penal colonies uh, across the Siberian landmass. One of my second and third year courses is a history of the Russian Empire from the Crimean War uh, to the 1917 uh, revolutions. Um, and I find this a particularly fascinating period because um, Russia is really suffering, the Russian Empire is suffering from a surfeit of change uh, in this, in, 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 across these decades. So my understanding of Russia when I uh, first began to read about it as an undergraduate was that um, it was essentially a kind of a slightly decrepit state that was incapable of modernization and it just sort of tottered uh, into uh, oblivion under the hammer blows of World War I. Um, well, it turns out that actually uh, the empire was extraordinarily dynamic. It's, it's undergoing a political revolution, a social revolution, rapid urbanization, industrialization, ag an agricultural revolution, fundamental questions about the very shape of the modern world are up for grabs uh, in this period. So in the course which I teach, it's a, there, it's a, a, a weekly seminar course with two, of two hours uh, with the same group of students. Um, and we look at various thematic uh, questions like the rise of mass politics, uh, like the effects of uh, uh, industrialization, uh, the rise of revolutionary violence, uh, the peasant question, uh, ideas of sexuality and gender, uh, the rise of um, the uh, criminal class, the, so crime becomes a major object of uh, popular anxiety and, and sort of academic study. Uh, there, are, there are questions uh, are, are posed as to how the empire can best cope with the sort of social dislocations, the social unrest which accompany ra rapid uh, urbanization. What's great about the topic is it takes the students back into a world which is strangely unfamiliar in many respects. Um, so it's sufficiently far removed from our own world um, to sort of uh, have that shock value, I think, that you, 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 you are forced to confront a set of assumptions about the world or questions about the world which are so radically different from your own. But at the same time, the topics that are discussed on the course, the questions that are being debated, uh, the forces that society is struggling to, uh, to deal with, the, um, the, the questions of governance, about the rise of a welfare state, about how to manage large multi-ethnic uh, empires, about the role of, of religion in politics. These are all questions which, of course, reverberate down to the present day. Uh, so I think it's particularly exciting for students to be able to, in a sense, re reinterrogate, uh, re revisit our own society through a lens which is made available by a world that existed 150 years ago.